<laughs> For singing, we are going to give you a word. So, um, the word is marvelous. Yeah. Oh God, it's awesome. It is marvelous. <laughs> So, um, the next on the list, we are going to invite our beautiful.
for you in the name of Jesus, but especially on behalf of you. Well, we used to talk once in a while, and I realized that Chibi is a very intentional person. When she chooses to love you, regardless of what you do, Chibi is going to love you. I remember at the time I was in the hospital, she, she used to come constantly to give me food, and just drop off things for me, and she always She's very intentional about people that she chooses to love and I just want to pray that from here, from here forward, wherever you go, you meet people that will love you the way you choose to love people and I pray that God bless you because you've been a huge blessing to me. She 
don't know what. When I hear you talk, when I'm sitting there in the class, I start practicing on myself. I will try to reply when you talk. Praise the Lord. Um, praise the Lord. <laughs> it's been wonderful. Um, Dr. Inman, you also don't know when you're my fitness motiv motivation. I'm still trying to do a muscle up because of you. Um, hopefully, I miss it. So in all the different ways you all have all motivated me, I cannot go into details, but you're all wonderful human beings, and I hope God blesses you in your next step, and whatever you do, may it be success. I'm grateful that he's in my life, because he doesn't know this, but I was once in the dark, and he brought life, he brought life to my life. I don't really know how to start or where to start from. Because looking at my children in this manner, in this way, choosing the way of virtues, not the way of vices, honestly, at this. I begin to think and spoke in our country and in our continent, Africa. Seeing young ones, our children coming together to know God, to praise God, to worship together, together as one people. Oh my God. Honestly, the positivities I've seen today, I don't know. Wow. So, truly, there is hope. There is hope. Because down there, many of you have chosen the way of vices. Many of you have chosen the way of corruption. They have chosen the way of uh, scam. 
What you see them do is use their phones and computers to do people. Hang into lines, into all sort of evil. But see you gathering, worshiping God, believing in future, talking positivity to each and every one of you. Praise the Lord! But I want to say that I am really amazed to see what you guys are doing. It's a kudos to all of you. You know, while we are there in Africa, we, you know, our heart is somehow afraid that we bring our children across the seas to an unknown. You know, we don't know what they're going to meet here. But coming here to see that you people are grounded in the Lord is a good thing. The Bible says, train up a child the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. And I pray that the Almighty God will be with every one of you, that what you have learned here in Russia, you will never depart from it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And a big thank you to the pastors we used to hear their name over there. Pastor Peter and uh, there's this father, Father Peter, and all the uh, men of God that God is using to raise you people like this. Please, do not forget what you have been taught here. Hold it fast wherever you go to. Stand tall as an African nation and protrude us as the great nation of Africa. Don't bring any negativity like he said. Because what we used to hear that we are criminals, we are uh, Yahoo people and all that. We are not that. Our children are great and you all remain great in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Bless you all. Keep the light burning and you all graduate in fine colors in the name of Jesus. Graduates, the Lord will take you higher and higher in the mighty name of Jesus. Life shall fall upon all of you in pleasant places. In Jesus' name. Go to school, but uh, just make sure that uh, you follow your passion. Although your parents want you to graduate, uh, you need to find your own path. Find your own path. Yeah, that's it. Like what Steve Jobs said, like uh, the only way to do great work is to love what you do. So that's my, my advice. Discover yourself, discover your hobbies, your talents, because more than your degree, your talents can actually make a way for you. It's even biblical. Yeah. First, I want to say, um, trust in God, believe in yourself, and don't leave anyone behind. Like here, we are like soldiers, you know, what's used to be in the middle field. If someone is, is hurt, if someone is injured, they don't leave them behind. So, always check on your own. Your classmates, your schoolmates, your contracts, check with everyone and don't leave them behind. But bring them, give them hope. Whenever they try to lose hope, give them hope. Make them believe, make them remember that they can be, they can hold the baby. What are you doing? Uh, sometimes we can plan things in certain ways. But uh, it doesn't always go that way. So, I think just trust the process, be patient, and whatever you're doing. Try and find out and don't lose yourself in one thing. Thank you. Hallelujah. My advice, um, first of all, for medical students, try not to never get bad runs at unnecessary rewards. Um, secondly, um, do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like doing it. Because sometimes you feel like sleeping, sometimes you feel like, like you don't have strength, but most times it only takes you to take the first step. How you take the first step, you get the momentum. So, yeah, do the hard work and you don't feel like doing it. And keep, keep showing up and keep working. Please all right. Um, so I have like what to say to you. Um, the first one I will say is build network. Networking is very good. Make sure your parents are spending thousands of dollars on you. You are hot cake for you to be abroad. The fitting allowance every day for one to hundred thousand, one to hundred thousand dollars. So not, don't let anybody believe to you. You don't know if you are assigning a business child. The governor's child, anybody can help you tomorrow. So network, build good friendships and all. And then if you're multi-talented, you have maybe your parents made you to study medicine. Do you know what to study medicine? Like me? <laughs> you can do other things. 
make sure you do what you love because I know they just want the best thing for they want this professional um, um, job for you because it's just something to show that okay at least my child will not go through unemployment in both you know I understand that own perspective but make sure you try to know your hobbies try to multitask and secondly when it comes to business my dear try to gain money if not you suffer I did, I, I, I really appreciate the bouncer. So make sure you do that. Yeah. Make sure you learn how to multitask. And you may not be the most brilliant student in class, but just make sure you like, as your roommates are going, just follow them. Hold them by the love group and just be going with them. You understand? So thank you. Even if you discover that the particular field you are in is not what you want to be just make sure you have a degree. It doesn't have to be medicine, it doesn't have to be law or engineering like our parents like. So just make sure you have a degree that you can fall back on later. It might not be your plan B, but you should have it as a plan. That's just so advice. Like this advice would be to have patience for those that are um, worried about the new semester they're going to start very soon and you hear some things about the teachers and you're already worried just have faith, have hope don't dwell too much in what you hear about like the classes and the teachers and also enjoy your experience here, have time with your friends because um, the experience, the years you have here seems long, but after some time you realize that it's actually quite short and it goes back really fast. So have patience, enjoy yourself, and praise the Lord. I'll start to case any students, especially. Please know God. You can't be case every without God. <laughs> And don't despise the gathering of brethren. Have friends that you can fall back on because the school can be overwhelming. A lot can go on and you need somebody to talk to. You need words of encouragement that will keep you going. By the grace of God, everybody is going to graduate in due time with Jesus. is prayer works because that's good then <laughs> you have to be prayerful because a lot of things that go on there and secondly I know sometimes we try to keep this to ourselves don't keep this to yourself talk to somebody like always look for someone to talk to someone to share with to share things with because then the process of sharing you can get like a solution to your problem so then to share don't be to yourself and um those guys Pray. Just pray because if okay, I join the case in country prayer, everything was true prayer because I don't think I would have made it if the course of prayer was a lot of prayer. So my advice would be to know God and love God. When Adam and Eve ate the fruit, the instruction <laughs> the instruction was when you eat it, you will surely die. And we can see that they, were, they lived very long, but it was their spirit man that died. So you can be alive when you're living with flesh, but according to God, you are dead. When you were in the garden, because their spirit man was alive, they, the Bible says they walked with God. When they died, they left the presence of the Lord. So you, you can be living, you can be breathing, but your life is physical, your life is surface. When a Bible says, no outward man may be perishing, our spirit man is being renewed. It's the spirit that matters, it's the presence of God that matters, and we will always share it. The things that we did when we didn't know God, our only regret is, ah, I wish I knew God earlier. There were so many mistakes I could have made. There were so many mistakes I could I wouldn't have made if I knew God. Because when you know God is when you start living. Yeah. There is no life apart from life in God. Hello. Um only thing I can say is resilience is built over time. Every step you take leads to the goal. So just keep and you got this. Thank you.
came to say what is it was Amen. 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 This uh, fire. Amen. Amen. Um, it's been since since this first year. He's been a member of this church. Uh, it's been a blessing. And, um, it's loved by so many, including myself. Amen. 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 So, want to thank you for being part of the worship church. We appreciate your dedication to the growth of the church, and we love you. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right, so the next person is going to be, oh my God, um, Dr. Alex. Uh, besides Dr. Shura, in your batch, the first person I met is uh, Dr. Alex. And, um, Alex was never going to come to church. He said he didn't want to do it. He's like, I still remember his words. He's done the church. Like, who annoyed? I kept wondering, like, who annoyed? He annoyed this man. Amen. Like from church. You know, he said it's God. He gave me like he, you know those people who just you know, they've traveled now, they want to breathe. Amen. And uh, he came, I still remember um that's when hosting him, I told him, come to my house, we had a very good time. Then there was FIFA World Cup, you remember we won uh, for point my house, what a surprise, amen. And um, just to see, it's been a blessing, even in the uh, fifth hostel home group, it was a blessing there. He was not coming to church, but he was going to home group, the fifth hostel, and then sent that home group, and now he's one of those amazing guys. A lot of people here have huge connections, uh, connection with Alex. He's always willing to serve, many of us know, know that, he's always willing to help. The time he, you know, somebody did something and he asked me, if you can beat the boy, amen. He <laughs> did something against somebody in our church, and he, he, he was, and I said, Don't worry, don't beat him. <laughs> and uh, he's all this, he's that big brother. How many of us people still remember his brother? You guys, where are those people? Uh, okay, you remember, amen. Uh, but it's a good person. So, we want to thank you for being part of the worship church. We appreciate your dedication to the growth of the church, and we love you so much. We celebrate you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. It was good, right? The next one. Oh, this is another amazing human being in this place. Um, she's really amazing, lovely person, and um, I think from her first year she's like one to those. Though originally um, she was going to, we're well, sorry, like it's not because a couple of Catholics here. She was going to Catholic church in um, Nigeria. Then when she came, it was difficult for her to fit in. A lot of people ask, you know, what kind of church is this? Uh, we are interdenominational. So we are Pentecostal. Oh, we are this. We are there. Like we just want to serve God. Amen. Yeah. And then when she came, just uh, like she was coming, she started coming. Uh, some days she would go there, come here, and but this person just wanted to serve God. And that she's been a blessing in the worship church, always smiling, without drama, without problem whatsoever. So we want to thank you, Dr. AC Vanessa Bulma. When you served as a member of the creation team in the department, the body room the two next generation, we appreciate your dedication to the growth of the church. We love you and celebrate you so much. Thank you so much. Amen. Amen. All right. So the next person on my list, somebody say pioneer member. Pioneer member. Hallelujah. I think when this person is very close to me, uh, he's, he's gifted, he's talented, he, he can do all things through Christ who strengthens him. Uh, is he singing? Is he dancing? Is he cooking? Is he being friends? Everything. He can do everything. He's a man of so many gifts. He can freestyle. I think one of the issues one day, you know, we're supposed to go sing somewhere. I say, go and learn your lines. And the guy, the learning the rascals in the line, the rap was a problem. And then let me say, I said, no, don't worry. When we got there, he started rapping on that. People thought it was the real song. <laughs> so he can freestyle so much. He's a blessing. And um, he's a pioneer member of TWC. Actually, one of our very first members of TWC. Um, very, very, if not even the first member, it looks like it's the first member of TWC. Wow. Yes, wow. like original member, like first. And uh, also, pioneer worship leader in TWC. <laughs> 
It's, it's best. Uh, always willing to serve and uh, serve people. Amen. And so this person is Dr. Old God on Tampua, Simon. Uh, we are served as worship leader and one of our pioneer members. We appreciate your dedication to the growth of the church. We love you and we celebrate you. Amen. Amen. This person is precious to me. Amen. Mm -hmm. This uh, this person also, you know, one of that Catholic background. <laughs> uh, who um, she came? I think the first time I had a contact with her, there was this program. If was, uh, because she has a Muslim name, so I was wondering if she was Christian. I didn't know she was Christian. So just you know, out of you know, let me just try. So I invited her for a concert, influence concert. You can then oh she would come. I was like, oh like so for me I thought this, this person is a Muslim. She actually came, she has been a blessing. And then later I went to the sister there and then discovered that oh she was actually a Christian. She just had a Muslim um, name. You know, she was having Muslim name. She has been a blessing. Um, it are just the um, her personality just keeps increasing. Like uh, we keep discovering a new new dimension. In this particular person, she's an intercessor. You would not know she's a prayer warrior. Amen. She can pray. There's somebody she can pray. She can pray. She can groan. Amen. So this one is this person is really amazing. She's really dear to me. I think I, I was sharing something of my status one time. So I am not really good with titles. I think even being a doctor, I think it was like the second year of being a doctor, I even accepted you know that title, Doctor Clever. Even being a pastor, it was also the second year of pastoring. Instead of this, if you see our flyer before, you just see like clever. I was okay. Even people in church, when coming to church, you just see clever, clever, clever. Like clever. It's other people, I didn't have any problem with it. I was okay with that. I didn't really like that. But then she came to the office one day, like, I want you to be my spiritual father. Like, you, you, you know. Like, <laughs> not, like, I'm still, like, for me, it's like, I'm still very young. Like, Giving me, you know, uh, 30 comments, it took me years. A lot of people like spiritual mother, spiritual mother, I'm not really used to that. I think it was only last year, summer, I saw in scripture that Jesus Christ, at the age of about 30, he met, uh, encountered the woman with the show of God, the very calculation. The woman in show of God, the woman in show of Jesus Christ, and Jesus Christ brought her daughter. I'm like, okay. Well, so it's, it's a thing of grace and not a thing of, you know, age, and just, but not to be happy. So this person is. I can't, but this is my daughter. Amen. <laughs> because she used to listen. Amen. She used to listen. Amen. And if she's angry, she can speak out. Some of you, when you are angry, you know, just, just carry anger inside of you. Amen. So, uh, Dr. Shura Nafisa said to <laughs> When you serve as a member of the accessory prayer department and the Godly Romo, they indeed, indeed. So, next generation, we appreciate your dedication to the growth of the church. We love you and we celebrate you. Amen. 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 All right. So the next one is another amazing human being. It can be quiet without problem. You know when she exists, except you're a member of this church. Then you know that, oh, there's somebody like this. Amen. Or except you're from Zimbabwe. Mm. You guys from Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe, you know that. All right. So, um, one thank you so much, Dr. Lynn, Mary, Show way that pronounced way. Oh, thank you. 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 When he told me, that, because he's finishing his master's degree, by, by the way, he did his BSc, and he only joined last year of your BSc, right? And then I thought he was a new student. I was like, so where have you been, this talented, amazing guy? who I've never seen him in my life. Never. And he came to the He's a very quiet person. Um, always willing to serve. I know if, I, if I'm looking for men to help out in this church, I know this person would always be here. He would, he's always be there. You know, some of you will run away. <laughs> like, if you say want to do something, he would be there. He will probably, if you just give him the time, 
is going to be there. And uh, no wonder he served in the technical department. And I am really grateful for, for his life. He can do anything through computer. He can do, when I mean through computer, he can build websites, applications. And um, if you've been hacked, he can unhack you. He's gifted. And thank God he's born again. If he was not born again, ah. <laughs> Amen. So thank God he's born again and he's using his gifts for good. Amen. So this is an engineer, a computer engineer, not just by um, theory, but by action. As a matter of fact, a lot of things he's not in school, he doesn't need them. He just wasted his time <laughs> over there because it's really good. So we want to celebrate Dr. Uh, Brad, sorry, engineer Ishin Nisu Pembo. Where he served as a member of the technical department, also in the protocol department, what do you know with that generation that we You have a dedication to the growth of the church of the Thank you, sir. Celebrate this report. Now the next person is a very interesting person. So what is we need to set? Uh, what is we need to help? So this is my name. If you, are, if you are lost, just find this guy. He will find you out. Amen. If you need any, I think if you any kind of problem, what I mean like problem, not like I pray God will give you understanding. Amen. Like it's Russian, it's good. No, he said he's looking for a wife, I think he deserves it. <laughs> and, um, it's good, he's it's, it's, it's a, it's a very good man, a loving guy. Um, just, just sweet, just sweet. I can give you a lot of sweet. Uh, the first encounter was when I entered to evangelism in the uh, hostel. Then, uh, it's appeared for two years. <laughs> Amen, you know what I'm talking about. And now, when he returned, you will not believe this person was running away. Amen. Amen. And he returned his such a blessing to the church. Uh, he's led the creative team. Very handsome, creative guy. We need to serve. Intelligent guy. Very popular guy. Amen. Amen. So um, this is Dr. Yesha Brenti. God, you over there to the next generation. We appreciate your dedication to the growth of the church. We love you and we celebrate you. Thank you so much. All right. So it keeps getting better and better and better. Amen. Amen. The next person here is probably the most popular person in Russia. She's a blogger. She's She's a dancer, she's a rapper, she's an investor, <laughs> <laughs> she sells land. <laughs> she, you know, anytime you see this person testifying, just his business testifying. <laughs> uh, you know, she wasn't like, I think God, God is expanding my business. <laughs> and uh, this, this person is really amazing. There are many children everywhere. And, and, um, even one is holding camera somewhere, you know. You must capture this moment. Amen. She, she has fans everywhere. You can't go to any, any city in Russia with black people and they will not tell you they know Amanda. Amen. Amen. She's, she, she has a very interesting uh, nature. We felt, oh my God, first year was a problem. Like, between, because like Amanda, uh, then I discovered something. If you correct Amanda, she'll fight on the spot. She will, then she has came down. She will fight. You cannot correct Amanda on the spot. She will fight you. But guess what? You know she will change. <laughs> she will take that your correction. This is the kind of human being. And when I discovered that, okay, well, it's not an in initial fight. You fight the fight, but you will go and change. And this is how, this has been the journey. She just keeps getting better and better. And uh, from being a very hot tempered man, I don't know where you can't that my God has finally destroyed the temper. And she's how yeah, many of us know what I'm talking about? Here? People are scared. <laughs> are you <people> scared? <laughs> so everyone is still scared. Amen. Huh? You say what? Yes, it's um Odogress or what do you Odogress. Amen. So she's a very amazing person. She deceived me at some point that she can speak French. I didn't know that. <laughs> I, I, I didn't know it was single and we still had back and front. <laughs> because when we had French people coming to church, they come and translate. 
<laughs> she was just so I didn't know. Thank God, we if not would would have put that in a very difficult position. Amen. So until Pascal had to tell me that, also who told you you have also the French. <laughs> Amen. So very versatile human being. She can cook goat meat of a super well and just. She's she's very popular. Amen. Somebody who's um, your YouTube former account was how many thousand subscribers? The first one. You have forgotten. And she was able to bounce back. Amen. Amen. So very amazing human being. Um, she served even in Taylor. She used to sing in church every probably. She used to sing come on by my door. Why did you do it? <laughs> All right. So thank you for being part of the worship church. We appreciate your service and member of the worship department in Taylor. God, you know, the next generation. We appreciate your dedication to the growth of the church. We love you and celebrate you. Thank you so much. Amen. 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 All right. So this one, this person is wow. I still remember the position he sat down when he came to. Yes, he he's serving me to come and say, I had planned to leave a certain rascals, but since I didn't discuss with him before coming here, so there's no need um, to go into that. But he's very constant. He has blessed us with his gifts, his talent. Anytime he's upgrading camera, our pictures are upgrading. Yeah. Every time he's, he's very patient. He loves me so much. I love him so much. I like, you know, he doesn't like when a guy tells him, he love me. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. He doesn't, he doesn't like it. And even not random girls, if you want to make him shy, just say, You want, I love you. You will be shy. It's just, it's, it's, okay, maybe he has been hearing I love you, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, he's an amazing person. We love him so much. Uh, he can, don't, he's a soft person. He, but he has very, he, he does, there's a way you look at it, you think maybe he, is, is rigid, but it's not rigid. It's very soft, down to head person. So it, he minds his business a lot, and he wants you to mind your business also. Because, so we love him so much, and um, there's a lot to say. But let me not go there. I have not said one now. And then, um, it's like I'm shaking tables. Amen. So thank you for being part of the worship church, where you served as a member of the media department. He served as a member of the. Of the head of the worship department used to be a drummer, he used to play keyboard, he plays keyboard, he's very talented, he can edit video, edit anything, he can move you up with somebody else. <laughs> anything you want, I kid you not, and this is everything. During the pandemic, we got really close. I think it was a pandemic for me because the pandemic he was my guy. My like when you know during the pandemic, church could not go. If not for a one, ah, I'll probably it's maybe Instagram live service will be doing. <laughs> so just being sincere with you, but you know, just being a blessing. I've learned a lot from him. You know, I've learned a lot. Like you've learned a lot from him. Um, we got you over there. We love you so much. We celebrate you, man of God. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. So the next person, um, who there's no complaint whatsoever. This is um, such an amazing person. And this person is no other person than Doctor Wangkwa Chin. Department, member of the intercession department, prayer department, God you role model, and uh, we appreciate your dedication, we appreciate your service, uh, your contribution to the growth of our church. We love you and we celebrate you. We we'll never forget you. God bless you. All right, so I'm sorry, these things are actually, this is very necessary, it's very important for me to do this. Um, so that's why I'm taking my time. To an honorary friend of the church. And so she's not a member of our church, but she supports the church, she loves the church. And we thank God for our growth and our support also towards the church. So this is Dr. Ifidon Eva Kumo Grace. <laughs> Thank you so much. 
<laughs> All right, so don't, don't guess again. Right? Let me just go straight. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Push it. Don't guess, don't guess, don't guess. Because before you will go fight people now, and then they will be like, Why did you give me? <laughs> don't guess. Amen. I know you have a lot of amazing persons. So the first person here, this one from day one of the church, I can tell you the simple truth. This person has missed church maybe three times, maybe two or three times. The first time he missed, um, should I say it? Okay, so I should not say it. He missed that first time, and you would think this person would not come to church or just be angry. You know, people when something happened to them, say, I don't think you break from God, that God just did something first. Where were you? You understand what I'm saying? But he came the next Sunday, and I think for the next, like for the next six months, every time I'll be looking at him, you know, like, is this guy okay? You hope he's not. I remember that Sunday I went to his house and I was looking at him saying, don't worry, everything is fine. Like, maybe he's just manning up and then what's, you know, everything is fine. And he has been a blessing um, to the church. He's very consistent. So I want to thank you for your contribution to the worship church. You took our media ministry to the next level. Consistently throughout the years. We appreciate you. We celebrate you. We love you so much. You are the best. Doctor. Thank you. All right. All right. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So, um, this is. Thank <laughs> you. 